Alright, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empowered Q's here bringing you some more League of Legends actions. Got some uh, funky stuff going on in, in the uh, bot lane here. So we are going against Nikali. This is a pretty difficult matchup. Um, she's got a lot of life steal. Her Twilight Shroud really stops kind of our auto attack trade, which is a little painful. She does that crap, you yeah, know. But her Twilight Shroud is an 18 second cooldown, so that's kind of the times that we want to look to uh, fight her. Get some good damage off here. Cool. Uh, probably going to be rushing a Bramble. They got a Soraka on their team. Lots and lots of life steal. So, I said we're going pretty defensively here at first. So, if you want to see my runes here, they are. I went with uh, a little Conqueror, but I'm thinking press the attack. Even Electrocute might have been a little bit better for some bursty damage, but. Um, and then we went some defensive resolve stats right here. So. I think it'll work out pretty good. All right, so we're gonna play pretty passively. She's just gonna do that a lot, so you know, without jungle help, it is pretty hard to kill her. The big thing is outplaying her Twilight Shroud, which is an 18-second cooldown, and ours is about a 16 for our Counter Strike. So they end up kind of matching out. But that's how most of these trades are gonna go. You see how like. She's already healed up most of the damage we did to her. Yeah. So, gonna be a little bit of a doozy. So we're just probably gonna look to farm a lot under turret. Tiamat Rush is probably gonna be in our future, just like I said, so we can farm under turret a little bit more effectively. Get that one. Surprise. Can't get that one. Man, that's some bad uh bad path in there. Oh my god. Hopefully he got it. Yeah, he did. I see her. Probably gonna look to engage on her as she tries to come back. It up. Whacker one. Well, I guess you should go to life steal it all back. So it's hard to get some damage that sticks to her in the early game. They'll let this push. Who's their juggler? Kane. Kane is not exactly the best early game ganker, so that kind of works in our favor. So we don't have to worry about, about jungle pressure too much. She already used her Twilight Shroud, so if she comes up, I can look to whack her. I probably just want to push this tower, um, this tower, this wave underneath tower and back. Nice. Nice. Oh, Vlad's going in deep. You get out. Nice. Good shit. Good stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to grab a Corrupting Pot here, because I don't have enough for my Tiamat, so that's going to let me do a little bit more in Sustain and Lane. I'm going to hang around for my Rejuvenation Bead, which is going to build it to my Tiamat as well. Help give, oh, excuse me, help match uh, a Kali's Sustain and Lane. So, 31 to 27. <coughs> A little down in CS, but I think that's going to be all right. But yeah, so here's here's the runes again. So Bloodline for sustain, Triumph pretty standard, Coup de Cry also pretty standard. Second win for when she hits me to heal some back, Bone Plating to kind of prevent some combo damage. So I want to try and hold this out of um, let's back it up here. I can try and hold this out. Pop my potions. Uh, as soon as my counter strikes up, if she sticks around. Oh god. Damn it. Get her, get her, get her. Yes! Fuck you, bitch. Got it. <laughs> that was rough. Definitely gonna look to TP back, collect this wave. Hey, even for even, and I was down a level, so I'll take it. If I could have popped my alts, I really think I would have lived there. 
Nice. Okay. But that's what we gotta prevent. I might actually rush a hash rux rush a hex all short short rush a hex drinker and the ability to speak English. Yikes. So let the slow push out and build up and crash this into tower. It's on. Make sure I get all my CS. Be careful of the Akali Rome. Oh, missed that one. Surprise. I could also go Executioner's Calling if I didn't want to build Bramble and go a little bit more um, aggro, but I don't think this is a good. Uh, lane to go aggro into. Ready for battle. Pop my potions. Ow. That hurts. Cool. Once again, she's just going to lifesteal all that back up. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, I might be able to make this, uh, mid play here. I'm gonna just go get my team out, I think. And pair of boots. Nice. Surprise, I'm back. She went back. She teleported, okay. Nice. All right, she gets in there. She might be okay. Yeah, if Vayne lives, this is great for me. Just fear. Fear! Oh, that's so fucking good. Good stuff. Now I want to really shove this uh, wave into tower, and I can deny all this minions. That was really good. Good job, team. It's gonna put her super far behind. But the thing with the Kali is, is even if she's super far behind, she still has a decent way to come back. So sometimes it really doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Q Max here. I think I would be able to want to engage faster or disengage. I think I could push one more wave because she just used uh, TP or the pressure tower. Engaged. Just prop my ult just in case. Not worth dying over. It also discourages uh, them from re-engaging on me. I'm gonna throw a ward right here. Just a little love tap. See what I mean? Like that life steal is ridiculous. So, like I said, definitely going to need a Bramble or something. Ouch. Now this is going to crash into me, so I don't really have lane priority where I can start activating my Conqueror. Because uh, Conqueror takes four seconds. So, I'm just going to chill. Oh, too close for comfort. That was good by the Vlad, but I was a little scared, not gonna lie. We should try, yeah, get this tower. So, luckily, because I got pressure on it earlier, it is pretty low. So, I purposely baited right here and ran towards the jungler, so make sure... Not the jungler, but... Oh, shit. I don't know if we can finish. Nope. I don't think so. I'm gonna push this wave in. Alright. Back up. Let's get out of here. If Akali comes, she'll just one shot kill us both. I think I'm just gonna get my Bramble now. I said I could get Executioners, but we got a Vayne and a Vlad and stuff. I think a little bit more tanky is gonna be in my 
wheelhouse anyways. So, man, my uh, teleport just came live. If I had a deep ward, I'd, war I'd uh, teleport down here. I think... I think I'm supposed to TP here. Oh, well. Should have made that call earlier. Akali also does the mix damage. She's going to build Gunblade eventually, too, which... The, uh... The Bramble's going to help against that, too. Surprise. Yeah. Yep. That helped a lot. Get a ward over here. Make sure no cane shenanigans. Yeah, I want to try and push her, pressure this tower. So I want to make sure I get a little bit of damage on her. Damn it. Oh, get out. I fucked that up. <laughs> I live, though. I live. Damn, that was really close. I'm going to TP back. I really want to get that tower. Damn, I don't like selling uh, control wards, but I think I have to. I should have placed it earlier. Just teleport right back. She has to back now, and I can either force TP, or I could get tower. Because if she doesn't TP back, I get first tower. Nice. Got dragon. I think even if she TPs back, I might have enough time to get the tower. Nice, first tower. So I got a little lucky that she made that huge bad teleport play. I mean, if she gets the double kill there, it's pretty much over for me. But since since she did not, um, I got a huge minion advantage, 96 to 57. Like, So what I want to start doing here is extending my lead. Uh, maybe steal some jungle camps, get some vision. Here. Come pressure mid with Vlad. Yeah, we can pressure this tower. Really? Pressure this here, yeah. Then I could probably go get Rift Herald. Just saw Akali. I don't think she burst either of us down. Yeah. Just keep mashing my potions. Nice. Good stuff. This Vlad is super strong. They have two disappearing champions, which makes it so hard to tell uh, what's going on. I lost both the Akali and the Shroud, trying to figure out um, how I wanted to target my champion. And then the cane went inside of me. Here, let me uh, make sure that there's... Just pop it this way. Make sure they don't have any vision here. We can steal this away. I don't really care which one of us tanks, what's going on in the bot lane. Mm, probably not worth it. Yeah. Don't want to do that to the Twitch. You. I can't ward hop then. I hate taking Rift. It messes me up so much. Finish, pu pu yeah, finish pushing this wave in. And then I can go back and buy. I got a ton of gold. Oh my god. I just looked at my gold count. Makes sense that we got a couple towers. Whoop. Get out of here. So we should rotate here. Um, gonna get my phage, get my boots. Pro 
probably sell this if I can get a sheen. Yeah. Surprise. Nice. Um, so for Trinity Force, the way I look at it is, is do I want a quick burst damage or do I want more sustained damage? Since I'm not really auto attacking Akali very much, I'm not really getting the benefit out of building Stinger. So in this situation, I build Sheen because I'm going to get a lot more out of a quick pop with my W and the Sheen damage than I am out of the... Damn, that sucks. Oh, he gets it. Once again, pop my potions. Interesting fight. I'll go pressure that bottom tower. <laughs> no casualties at all. Interesting. But that's better for us, because they go low and we can pressure objectives. I don't like being greedy for kills. I just figure take the objective, get the guaranteed free gold. top if there's a plant on the way I could take it for mana but not too worried about that I still got what two-thirds yeah I should get here just in time it's a cannon wave um, I might miss one or two maybe half the life of the cannon but I think we'll be all right uh, they are changing unsealed spell book too I think you have to rotate it like four times or something Yeah, I missed a cannon, that's it. I might teleport. I think I need 1380 something, but I usually build Stinger first, so I might be slightly off. And missing my cannon probably just cost it. Jesus. <laughs> there were so much now, I can't miss it. My team's doing dragon, I want to try and keep Akali up here. Steal some of this. Nice. Yeah, I see what I mean. That quick little burst. That's with the sheen. And because I have Bramble, she's not going to get the life steal that she normally gets. So, still 60 minions ahead. I'm just gonna back and get my Trinity Force. Just guarantee the kill. With Soraka heals and stuff like that, I felt better just popping. Champions like that have a habit of getting away. When it doesn't feel like they should. Oh, Kane. So I'm not too worried about. Let's get out of here. I got 2,000 gold. Time to go buy some shit. I can TP if I need to. Probably start getting Baron pressure pretty soon here. Uh, I'm probably going to finish my Titanic next. Kali's weak enough too where I don't think I need Hex Drinker. I think going Titanic into Randwin's Omen is going to be better. Um, the random zone is really going to help slow down the twitch here. Uh, deny all the crit damage that he is going to be building. Good job, Fiddle. Pop my potions. Alright, 
I could re-engage in a second here. I am gonna need some magic resist. So I'm gonna come get Rift Scuttler and grab a plant real quick, heal myself up. Cause some of that magic damage is eventually gonna start hurting. Nice. Uh, Kali's bot side. Put a ward up here. I don't see Kane, so I can look to steal this away. I want to pull it away a little bit. Nice. Nice. Got it. Back away. Now we're definitely going to want to focus Twitch. Yeah, we don't want him to snowball. Uh, they should be able to get a Kali. We, we do want to make sure Kali doesn't get away from us. And I, I mean it by snowball and catch up and farm too much. Luckily, I mean, I'm a super late game scaling champion anyways. So, I mean, it's not like I fall off. Let my team know that Twitch is here. And back up. I have enough for my Titanic now. No, I don't. I'm thinking I already have Jerome's Fist, which I do not. So I got a nice amount of vision here. There's three that way, so they could pressure something. I could keep pressuring this tower. And then they push the bottom way, so Kali is down there. So I'm free to pressure this, and we can create a three on four situation, hopefully. Yeah, there's no way you kill me. Yeah, good luck. Nice, so they got the Twitch. All right. She's gonna have her shroud back. Damn. Oh, my Tiamat. That's how I keep aggroing that. I'm like, how do I keep aggroing? <laughs> I was gonna run towards my team here. Oh, man. That was so nice by the Vlad. But not I feel like a pretty nice little rotate by me. If we CC lock her. I'll wait till my team locks her to pop my ear. Oh, back the fuck up. Out of here, get out. Mm, that sucks. Nice. This fiddle. <laughs> so funny. Nope. See ya. I got 2,000 gold. I just want it back. Oh. Now I have enough for Titanic. Boom. Nice. I'm going to build an Omen next. And the nice thing about Omen is it really helps you against both kinds of damage. The thing to think about when you're building resistance is, is you need a healthy mix of both health items and uh, resistance items. So, like, for example, the health is going to help against the magic res magic damage anyways. Um, it's not going to be as effective because I don't have any MR, but it's still going to help. Um, and then it's going to help against the Kali, all that good jazz. But I'm really going to try and split. Anyways. And the Titanic's really going to help with splitting. So, uh, we need vision on Baron, too. Give myself a little vision, too. I see a, I see Soraka. If I see Soraka, then Twitch is probably nearby. I can hop to this one. Get out of here. Top of this. We are the stronger team. Oh, by a long shot. So, yeah, I think we just start. We turn if we have to. 
I'm tanky enough here, so. I just want to zone off the, uh. Pop my alt. Nice. Nice. That has to be GG. Oh god. Damn. I gotta survive four, three, two, one. Nice. Extended at auto attack range. Boop, gotcha. <laughs> did we not get Baron? Yeah, we did. It's fine. We're good. We're Gucci. Oh man, good stuff. Another two thousand gold for me. Yeah, I feel like that could have gone either way. Uh, Twitch isn't alive, so... I think this is dangerous. Just reset. Cool, so I can build this. Sell this. And... Get the health component. Nice. I'll split bot. Nice. Um, so I'll probably do random ones only, and then I may be a little greedy here, since we are so far ahead. If I get to Jinso's, I might do that, just because I can start building up my auto attacks, um, and then jump on the Akali and kill her. I'm not worried about these guys. I'm so tanky. I see... I got lots of friends at me. They got a pressure somewhere. I can't move forward until I see more of them. Okay, there's the Twitch, Sorok, and Akali. So I'm not really worried about anyone else. Okay, I see Soraka. I take this super fast, so... I'm okay. Dead. Run away! Oh, <laughs> so look at that pressure that split push created. Four of them come down to me, which I live because I'm beefy and strong as hell. And then they are free to just run mid, kill the Twitch because he's separated from his support. Um, and then we can pressure again. So that's really the objective of the split push. It's a little bit more of an advanced strategy because A, your team has to be smart enough to play around it. And B, you have to know when to engage and not. So I know... I know from experience that I'm strong enough to to survive the cane, who is only, who's one in six, which you could probably figure out for yourself too. Um, and then and then after getting all that pressure, my team knows that they have to force an objective. I see it a lot in low elos where I create that pressure. And then nobody shows up. They jump on me. I'll press Alt and E. But. I'm dead. Damn. Almost. Almost. <laughs> what do I need? You know what? Because I can just finish the item. I might just finish my Thorn Mail. It's going to help my Titanic Hydra, because Titanic Hydra scales off a of bonus health. Um, and then it's going to give me all this extra tankiness, too. So A finished item is always better than a half-completed item, and then I can be greedy and build my Rage Blade. But really, it should not come to that. Like, we got two inhibitors down. Yeah, I'll just go top. End it clean, that's right. This fiddle popped the heck off. Surprise. I'm not gonna lie. Had little faith in the fiddle support, but he's done a killer job. <coughs> the only problem with this build is I did not build MR. 
And as you saw, most of the damage that came to me was from MR. I mean, my opponent's Akali. But she does do mixed damage. Um, I don't know about the Rage Blade. The uh, Hurricane. But that's cool. Just clear some vision here. Yeah, so all of our waves are going to be pushing, so we can just take it slow and easy. And one of them is going to have to answer for both middle and bottom wave. Uh, bottom first, so that drags them even, even farther away. Oh, damn, that's in tower vision. Oh well. Alright, Kali's down over there. Man, she does hurt. I probably could have built some MR. Let's back up. Might be smarter just to wait to... Stall for Baron. Because they can't fight us um, outside of their tower. This is a good call by Vlad. I like this. By pressuring this wave a little bit sooner. Once again, I'm not really a, get out of the range of the tether. I'm not really afraid of the twitch. So if we zone off the twitch, we could take tower. Yeah. Because he's the damage we have to be afraid of. Wow, they don't have any... Uh, I just realized... So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm boosted. Didn't realize they didn't have any... Uh, Nexus towers. So we could have just walked up. I'm just gonna, just gonna finish it. <laughs> so really, what we could have done, and I mean that's probably what Vlad saw, is he just went over to pressure the Nexus, um, because with turrets, that's probably not gonna work. Without turrets, it just back door. Then they have to back up. So have a little bit better map awareness than that. I'm going to give it to the fiddle because that was awesome. And I leveled up. Happy day. Good thing I don't own all the champions. So, a little bit of a tough matchup, but I think we played it really, really well. The Akali definitely effed herself with that bad teleport. So, if you have teleport, you got to be careful about that. Because if it goes wrong, you can hardcore lose your lane. So, I maintained, what, a 70... Yeah, 70 CS lead, and she never managed to get the items that she needed to kill me, and I just got too tanky for her. So, um, looking at the team, we could see, you know, all of their, their health, shields, lifesteal. So, you know, we rushed the Bramble Vest, delayed our damage a little bit, but I am cool with that. Did a nice amount of damage. So, here's the rune setup again. So, uh, if you want to check that out, why I took what I did. Like I said, Triumph is just pretty standard. Uh, I like the restored health whenever they take down. The Bloodline, you could take uh, the attack speed one. But once again, the reason I didn't build Rage Blade earlier is in the split against the Kali. I'm not really getting as many autos off anyways. So the extra sustain with the lifesteal, I feel, is much better than the attack speed at that point. Coup de Gras, pretty standard, like I said. And then this uh, really helps against the poke early in lane. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. I am Twitch streaming all of my boosted games as well. Uh, so come hang out, chill while we record. It'll be a jolly good time. And yeah, catch you guys next time. Peace.